Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what is in my changing bag. So I'm going to go over a little bit about the bag that I've got and then just go through all the stuff that I keep in my changing bag. I did one of these videos quite a while back um, and obviously Vinny's grown a lot since then so there is lots of different things that we now keep in his bag. Um, still some of the same things that I would have had before but I've also changed my bag too. I now have a completely different bag so I'm going to show you the bag that we have. We have the Baba B um, Day Tripper City Deluxe bag. So it's this one and it is a grey bag. We have the Bugaboo Buffalo pushchair um, and the pushchair is this colour so it is very 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 similar colour to the bag. Um, it's just such a contemporary colour. I mean who doesn't love a grey bag but the bags that they do they have lots of different bags and they come in lots and lots of different colours but we've opted for this one because it just ticks all the boxes. It's got so many compartments it's just got lots and lots and lots of really cool features and details and it's just one nifty changing bag that's all I can say it's like absolutely fab I think they call it like the toolbox of all changing bags because basically it has so many different compartments there's so many different uses that you use as a parent taking a child or more than one child I mean this bag would quite easily accommodate two children or twins it just has so much space and storage so yeah I'll show you now quickly what is in this bag so this is my bag, um, as you can see it's got the Baba Bing logo on here, it has City Deluxe, um, it's got a Velcro fastening, it's got massive, massive, massive zipped areas, you can open things up to get right in, it has this amazing feature which has this yellow tag system, I'm going to bring it a little bit closer, and basically, let's even get into focus, on each one of these tags is a picture of something that does something. So basically, this one's for wipes. That one there is for dummies. I don't know how it's picking it up on this camera. We'll see if we can get. So that one is to attach your dummy to. Um, there's ones for nappies. The nappy one is so sweet. I don't even get a picture of it on, but there's tickets on everything. There is a ball holder, but then there's also another one here, which is for like keeping things cold. So you see that it's got the cold logo on. It has so many zip compartments. It has a phone holder, another big compartment at the back. So this little space is for all your things. So in there it says, it's your space on that ticket. And then there is another one above it, which has like a little picture of like an iPad. So in them pockets, it's designed to put all your bits and pieces. There's like loads and loads and loads of space in there. It has these really, really chunky zippers. So you've not, you know, fiddling about trying to find little zips. You've got really good chunky zips to be able to do things one handed. Um, it also comes as well with stroller clips. So if you have like a, a handle that you're not wanting to put your big strap across, you can actually Velcro these onto your handlebar and then these hooks attach on the side, which is here. So you don't have to have your bag swinging over the handle and dragging on the floor or the pram because a lot of time sometimes the bag straps dangle down and catch in between the wheels you can have them these on which sometimes as well I know with other bags is you always have to pay for these things extra so yeah that is basically a quick rundown of my bag it's got really padded shoulder strap as well it's just one really luxury changing bag um it also comes actually i'll show you these as well comes with actually two changing mats so you've got this one which is lovely thick plasticated backed got the logo on and it has the cotton backing which is the same color as the bag but then you also get this one as well which is like a terry um fabric a lovely soft terry fabric with the embroidery of the logo on again with a waterproof plastic backing on it so you've got two mats there now you could use them both together or you could use them separate you know you always are i've been that before where my little boys had a really runny nappy and my mat has got soiled 
But with this option, you've obviously got two, or just, you know, double it up. Whichever way around you want to do it, I just think that's such a fab idea. Plus, this one's a lot thinner, this mat as well. So if you don't want the bulk of this one being in your bag, then just take a thinner one and have more storage in your bag to be able to just, like, well, basically just ram more baby stuff in it. So, yeah, that is basically all the little bits and pieces that come with this bag. So that is my bag. I don't know if I showed you this little bit, but this is like the sweetest little feature of this bag ever. It's basically on the inside, I'm going to just roll this so it doesn't come off this. But on the inside, it says, on a mini mission. I don't know well you can see that, but I just think that is so sweet because obviously like, you're on a mission, you've got your bag, you've got your little mini person with you. And when you just open the flap and you see that, this bag makes you smile because it's just perfect so yeah that is my bag that is from baba bing i will link it down below so you can go check it out and now let's get on to all the things that i keep in this bag for Vinny, who is 16 months old if i haven't already mentioned that so the first thing that i keep which i use 24 7 all the time is my phone this is the iphone 8 plus um basically just use it for mainly a camera. If I haven't got my vlogging camera, which is there, I will use my phone. I'm using my phone more than anything else for taking photos, going on social media, answering emails and DMs, etc. So yeah, I have the iPhone 8 Plus, which is that. Then, now that the season's changing, we have got a hat. Vinny is super well known on Instagram for how many hats he has. I love him in these hats. This is from My Loves and yeah, this one seems to be one of like the popular ones that he wears a lot, but he has a huge growing collection of hats. So this is an absolute must have for when we're out and about. So he's got a hat in there. He's also got a sippy cup and a bottle. I mean, not particularly this particular bottle, we've got a sippy cup, but I always keep a sippy cup with him. Usually when I go out, I'll then go fill it with some cold water. And now that I've got this bag, I used to take a separate bag out with all his bottles and what have you in, and snacks and everything, because my other bag didn't have any compartments to keep stuff like that in. So I had to buy a separate bag to put it all in. But this bag has all like the built-in compartments. So his sippy cup can now go in this cold, waterproof pocket so it just kind of like fits in there like that don't know how well i can do it with one hand but you kind of like get the gist basically sippy cup goes in there like that get in get in and then you just sip it up and i know that it's stood up nice and still it's nice and secure in there and it's got the insulating stuff in to keep it nice and cool and when i want to get out the bag can just be on the handle and all i have always to do pull this cup out and I've got his cup straight to hand. And like I said, on the inside, in here, there is, again, these are things that my other bag didn't have. There is a bottle bag compartment, which I'll show you, it Velcro's out. So this is the bottle bag one, and it has the logo of the baby bottle on. And again, all insulated on the inside. Stick your bottle in, and that is that actually is a really tall bottle as well. So that just shows how good the bag is, because it, accommodates obviously like different size bottles and there you go and then just pop his bottle in there and then that's all secure leak free i know that it's not going to be dripping all over the rest of my stuff but yeah my other bag didn't have that compartment i had to just take a separate like bottle bag out with me so it ended up having more stuff under the pram so now with this bag keeps everything in and it's all in one place and i don't have to have two different bags go on the go all the time when i go out the other things that I would keep in my little spare bag were snacks. But obviously now this one again, it's got so many compartments that I've got compartments for snacks. So in here, these are just a random selection of snacks. He's got some Sultana and Apple. He's got one of these Mamia pouches. This is mangoes, apples, banana and peaches. Um, he loves these because obviously he's, well, obviously, I don't know if you know, he is dairy free. So some stuff we can't have you can't have like certain like yogurts and stuff so these are really good option for like a smoothie like his version of like a smoothie drink now so we have those and some kiddelicious coconut rolls because basically these are life at the minute he absolutely loves them he has a toy which is this i think it's called ethan the fox and it was from jojo mama babe but he loves this it reminds me of a dog toy. <laughs> Don't you think it looks like a dog toy? But yeah, he's got that. 
um, purse. A River Island purse that I've had for about five years and I really need to get a new one. I think I'm sure I said this on the last changing bag video, but I don't know, I'm just like, just had it and I really like it and it's got so many compartments in. It's like your changing bag, you get you so used to something that you like to use and has all the compartments that you need. So yeah, that's that. I have this little nifty gadget. This is by Munchkins, I think. Yeah, munchkins. So it looks like that. And you're thinking, what the heck is that? That's your lid. Watch this, guys. Whoa, hello. It is a foldable bowl. So you can basically, if you've got something that you bought and you want to like split it in half between another kid or whatever while you're out, there you go. Put it in there. We've been like and got stuff like um so like porridge or something like that's made with water that Vinny can have and I just wanted to cool it down. I've scooped some in there so that it's just cooling down separate than being in a big tub, etc. All you gotta do then is wash it out. Da -da -da. Put your lid on. How fab is that? I got that at Asda, I think it was in like the baby event, but it's absolutely fab. What else have I got? A twister shake dummy clip. Um, it seems to be loving twisted shaped dummies at the minute. A selection of nappies. I always take about four with me. The going rate is four in my nappy bag. So we've got four. We've got some kitten kin nappies and some as the little angels nappies there. So that's them. We have got Aldi. Oops, going out of focus. Aldi mammy wipes because I just get on with these so well and I've used other ones and I felt like he might have gone a little bit red because again he's got really sensitive skin but they're so cheap as well like you can't even go wrong with those. I have got this waterproof bib, it's called a Bapron because it's like a bib apron um, and this was from Dolly and Beau, it's a shop on Instagram I will try and link them down below if I remember, but these are absolutely fab and she does so many prints and designs. It's like crazy of how many prints she has. Then I have this little bib, which was just from TK Maxx. It's nothing majorly exciting, but just a little bib. Came in a three pack, I think for like 3 99 But you know, bibs, you've got to have them in your bag, haven't you? I have got, oh my God, this, like this, he literally has to have one everywhere he goes. We call it Snugsy, and it is a muslin square, like that. It's not really big enough for a wrap, it's more like a comforter slash very small blanket. And it has this little rain cloud design on, and it's from Bullaboo Baby, and it's just the most softest. They actually call it like the marshmallow feel, because it is so, so soft. And Vinny has these for like comfort when he's going to sleep. He just I, I give it to him, he puts it up against his face. And yeah, he's he's never without one. He has one constantly all the time. I've got Kevin the Carrot. <laughs> um Kevin the Carrot is from Aldi and he is a shopping bag. And because obviously when you're out and about now and you've got to pay for your carrier bags, I always keep that in there and it looks like that. And um that's basically it folds up if we go to like home bargains or anywhere that you can like you've got to go buy a carry bag and I find it's easier to because it's stronger too and I can just chuck everything in there. I have got this little tub which was from Jojo Mama Babe I think it came in a set of four and in here is just basically more spare dummies so we've got another twister shape product which is a little twister dummy and a nook dummy and I usually sterilise the pot so as the dummies and then just keep them in there and then I know that he's got his dummies nice and safe. Then I have these which I bought absolutely ages ago and when they start running out I'm just going to basically refill them. This one has like curvy grips hairpins in and this one has little bobbles in. It also came with these three sticky jewels. I don't know why I haven't taken them out because I'm never going to be sticking them up my hair basically while I'm out. I'm a, but um they're like 49p and these things are amazing because I can be out and all of a sudden I've got a little bit of hair that kind of like, you know, just kind of like dangles down and I need a pin. These are amazing because it keeps them nice and secure in there. If I'm out with my little girl and she needs to tie her hair up, I always have a bobble to hand. But really I think I need to start 
because the bobbles then never get put back in here again. They never do. All the pins. I need to actually probably fill them up a little bit, but I've got those. Then what else we've got? We've got this. So this is just a little cloth bag. It was from Nex and it came with a baby vest with the same V on the front, um, which Finney has in his clothing cupboard. And inside here, I just keep spare clothes. So in here, he's got a little t-shirt that says lad on it um and a little pair of like three quarter leggings they look really tiny don't they but they're actually three quarter leggings and really now i might have to change them to a longer pair because the weather is getting a little bit cooler but yeah all over the, the summer um if we've just had these but if you're out shopping and he had his coat or whatever i mean he will have something on his push chair soon then you wouldn't really like necessarily wouldn't need you to have a long pants would you the, a baby girl would do just to keep you going until basically you could get home and get him some proper clothes on i've got a few more things in here oh. tissues so this is a, a plain bag of tissues i think these are like 15p from home bargains and I'm, i always need tissues like with six kids you need tissues like constantly all the time don't you i've got this little thing which is fab this was from the pound shop and it is a little tiny first aid kit. Now, if you're a mum, this is basically going to be your lifesaver, your go-to, your must-have. And in here, it's just got like surgical tape, plasters, a bandage, I don't know, more plasters. It's got absolutely shed loads of plasters and bandages and tape and some safety pins. And yeah, that's about it. It came in this little green bag and it's got belt loops so you could attach it if you're out on a walk or whatever. And it was a pound. So how, you know, for a pound, chuck that in your changing bag. You can't go wrong, can you? Let's see. Cotton wool. Again, because Vinny's got really sensitive skin, um, I just wet with water cotton wool. So I always keep, like, when I get to, like, the end of the bag of cotton wool, I've just kept it so that I could just add, like, a few pieces of cotton wool in so when they start running out i'll just take some out of them the full packet and chuck them in because you don't need to take a full packet of cotton wool out with you do you, you know just take a few saves having to bulk all your bag up same with a tip for baby wipes is when you're at home and you get halfway down your packet of baby wipes so can you see that's like about that thick is just keep it to one side and restart a new packet and then when your nappy bag wipes run out use that half packet because it's a lot lighter in your bag if you've picked up a pack of baby wipes you will know that they weigh like a brick but if you've got a half pack it's a lot lighter in your bag you won't be needing while you're out any more than like 32 wipes i mean i've been out and i've got six kids and i've never actually gone through an actual whole entire pack of baby wipes just in one out into like to tesco's or somewhere so yeah a tip is get down to halfway just pop it to one side restart a new packet and then keep it for when you need one for your changing bag what else have i got kind of like getting down to like the nitty gritty bits now i've got a hairbrush so this is Vinny's hairbrush from mini you for kids and we use this like all the time this is the mini styler um i've had this in quite a few of my YouTube videos and it's got hair which is like quite a panel of long hair that comes over to one side and sometimes obviously through the day it gets a bit messy I use some styling paste on him every other day and then I basically just when it's got a bit messy I say like a soft place somewhere I just brush it back into shape again plus I do use it as well sometimes or like if Rita's got a bit of messy hair when we've been out we've just used it on her but this brush is absolutely fab again i'll try and link them down below and then the last things that i've got i think they're the last things yep yeah, the last things are they last things i don't know i'll see if i can try and find out what else i've got the last things that i've got are these two bags now i've got this one that says yummy mummy and this one that says susanna because that is my name and i separate into these two bags things that like i really need so this one the yummy mummy one is absolutely stuffed with all the baby things that i need so we'll just i'll like run through it like really quickly what we've got in here so we've got sudocrem the little tubs you get when you're even hospital and they give you free and all i do is when that gets empty i get a teaspoon and i take a big dog sudocrem out of the big tub and put it in there and then we've got sudocrem 
Vaseline because when we're out and if Vinny needs moisturising on his face I use Vaseline because it's like the only thing that I know doesn't bring him out in like a red rash so Vaseline is amazing for like soothing skin when you're out we have got some hydrocortisone cream because if he has a breakout or prickly rash or anything if he's eating something or touched something that's got milk in it we dab some of that on I have got his moisturiser which is prescribed, it's called Unilatum um, and this is on prescription and this is the only moisturiser that we've ever seemed to be able to get away with when he gets like an itchy back or legs etc. Got nappy sacks, can't go on with nappy sacks, I've got about three of them. A cowpaw sachet because basically, no two two cowpaw sashes because I mean who doesn't carry cowpaw around in the bag and also one of these which is a syringe in a sterile bag um, you can pick these up at your local chemist a lot of time they'll just give you one sometimes they ask if you go for a big bottle of cowpaw they'll say would you like a syringe and they usually come in a sterile packet like this and I just keep these um, keep one of them and leave it in my bag this one also has a thing that you can put in the top of the big bottle of cowpaw so you bob that in and then you can just put your syringe straight into it so it's got that lovely little nifty bit with it but that is an absolute wise saver also got some hand gel because sometimes you never know if you're not near any sinks to wash your hands etc you can just clean them if you need to feed baby or whatever and i've also got more plasters but these like huge big dressing ones which i think actually probably need to go back in that other bag so that is basically all that and then in this bag that says Susanna on it is all my little bits and pieces and in here I have got my iPhone wireless headphones because now with the new iPhone you have wireless ones I have a tape measure um, they do a little retractable tape measure and this thing has been fab because like when we're out and we need to measure some at so like in Ikea or whatever plus they need me to do modelling now the amount of times I've been out and I have got a message through saying can you just give me their recent measurements for their chest or their leg or whatever and if you don't have a tape measure hand I mean how do you do that so this has been absolutely fab for keeping up to date with like model agency measurements etc I've got tweezers now I don't take my really best tweezers out I have the tweezerman ones so I just take these from Primark because they're just good out they for like splinters or you get that one dodgy hair that you just kind of need to pull while you're out you see it and you think like oh my god that needs to come out and they're like a pound or something you get the pointy end and the slant end ones I have got a pen which came free from Pandora when we bought some Pandora charms this sanitary towel because come on ladies I mean obviously we need these in our bags I mean you just have to have it I've got um, a nail file box this was from Primark it was a pound and it stores one nail file inside and it came with about another five or six nail files with it but yeah that is absolutely brilliant because you know nail files have that like powdery residue kind of like stuff on them don't they well you've got in a little box it's all stored away and it's not going to like destroy anything else i've got a little notebook because even though i use my phone and i've stored notes in my phone this is just super handy when i just really need to write something down and i think it was just from like the pound shop somewhere it wasn't all major some paracetamol because obviously you need paracetamol and i've also got this tinted lip balm pearl and shimmer from primark and it's just like a really i shall put some on oh it smells divine oh my god it smells like so good in fact hello oh my god I bet that's been rita I bet she's been in there. She goes in my bag and takes my stuff. She's actually snapped it. The little monkey. Oh my God, right. Well, she'll be getting told off when she gets home from school tonight. She'll have snapped it and put it back in there because I haven't used that for ages. What a monkey. And yeah, this. A lucky troll key ring. This is Rita's that's um, just been left in my bag in there. And that's all that stuff. And then, oh, we've got one last thing which is this which is basically i have just took this in my bag um because now that i've changed over my other one had like a, i had the bottle bag thing that i'll tell you about and it had like a compartment for like knife and forks and etc so 
I've just chucked this in because I just thought that'll be handy to chuck in for when he's out eating or out at a restaurant, etc. It's just a big waterproof bib, but it has a pocket for crumb catching. And these, again, are munchkin, I'm sure they are. And it is, let me check, yeah. It is a spoon, which you shove it into there, like that. And a, let me try and push this one, fork, which is like that. And you've got chubby handles, and that's your fork and your spoon. And then when they're dirty and finished, you don't need them anymore. Or better good to keep them clean. You just put your lids back on them. How good are those? And then what I've done is, I basically put them in that, whoops, in that little pocket like that. Rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled. Folded it over. Roll, 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 roll like that. A hair bobble. Make the best ties ever. And done that. And then that's just chucked in the bag for when I need it for eating. Get to a restaurant, pull that blue thing out. Spoon and fork, bib, kabang, bosh, done. Got the meal things that we need, sorted. Life is sorted. And that is it. That is everything that is in my bag. Um, sometimes he does take some toys out with him, but we kind of pick those on the day. I mean, he has that little chewy fox, but sometimes he takes like his bebop alien, which is like a little small version of it. But obviously he likes to play with that at home as well. So um use your toys we just pick and choose and there may be an odd extra thing that we chuck into the bag but that is basically it and that's it guys i hope this has been useful to anyone of what i take out for a 16 month old on a day-to-day -day basis obviously there's stuff in there as well which is important for the other kids like maybe paracetamol cowpaw hair bubbles and all that type of thing and yeah, um, if you need any info on any of the bits that I've shown you, then please just bob it down below in the comments and I will get back to you. If you've liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please hit that subscribe button and I will catch you all again really soon in another video. And like I said, don't forget to go check out my gorgeous new changing bag because it's absolutely lush. And I'll catch you all again soon. Bye.